another special unboxing by JJ Toy Giants. I'm your host, JD. My name is Jaden. And Jaden, what are we going to be doing today? WrestleMania. But like that button, comment down below, watch our other videos. What other videos should they be looking for? Pop, lock, and drop it. WrestleMania. Um, yeah, pick also, a car. Pick a car. And also follow us on Green Ranger 1619 for our streaming channel that bo both uh, Jade and I had done and so today we're going to be going over some wrestling figures some WWE figures or as Jaden likes to say WrestleMania guys so what do you have for him today okay so the very first figure that we have is Lucy no I'm just kidding it's a Kofi Kingston he got a Lucy and what do we get it off of um, your friend starts with an M Ma Makari Makari so we got it off of Makari, and uh, he actually looked on the app. I was a little a bit hesitant at first because I've never actually ordered from Makari before, but um, you would you picked this guy out, right? Remember yes. we looked on the on yeah. the app, and you said that you wanted this guy, and yeah. So not not bad. I mean, it's a little chip on the back on the side of his leg, but overall it's it's pretty cool. What do you like about this guy? Um, what 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 you make? What did you want to get? Why did you want to get him? Because he has like these blue bo boots and they have the same color. I know he has the best friend on WrestleMania. He yeah, has the so, best friend. so this guy is part of the New Day, but this is actually before he joined the New Day. I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly what series. I don't know if it says it on the bottom. No. No, it doesn't. This came out in 2011. So, pretty cool. Uh, what was your next uh, figure that you wanted to show? Oh, yes, you want sir. me to go next? Yeah. Okay. It was your turn. It's supposed to go me, you, me, you. See, he wants you. to alternate. Um, all right. So, I've been looking for this series of figures since I first heard about it. They came out on, I believe it was a Comic-Con, uh, San Diego Comic-Con, and they said that they were coming out with these figures. Um, and Walmart was exclusive to Walmart. They, for whatever reason, I could not get them because they were just bone dry. Every time I go there for a month straight, I'm not joking, you guys, for a month straight, they were just not there. And all of a sudden, I got a text from my wife because uh, she, she's also doing the legwork. Um, and she said, hey, do you want this figure? And this came up on the attachment. Boom! Finally! Finally, Jaden! Finally, I have one of the masters of the WWE Universe figures. I love He-Man. Now, He-Man was actually near and dear to my heart because then we'll be able to watch it later because um, we have an actual program on my Xbox that shows all kinds of old school uh, cartoons. Master of the Universe is actually one of them. So WWE had an actual inspired, um, you know, as you can see, figure line. And this is Finn Balor. So I'm going to let him breathe. All right, so I let him breathe. And so this is what Finn Batter looks like. And it's in, in this uh, demon form that he normally uh, sometimes comes out with. Um, it actually comes with a little comic strip. So you can see right here. Um, I took his little headdress off because it, it, uh, it came with this on him. And uh, I took it off because it kind of covered most of his face. But this is him right here. Now, this is reminiscent of uh, the Master of the Universe. Also, if you weren't really into Masters of the Universe, they're also reminiscent of the AWA Remco figures back in the day, in the 80s. Uh, Remco also did AWA as well. So that's a pretty cool. I love the head scan. Looks just like Finn Balor. Um, very reminiscent of the Masters of the Universe. Came with some weapons. I'm going to actually have them in a baggie, but I'm just going to have them like this. I'll probably put the headdress on them as well, but uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, what's the next one for you, broski? All right, so he has a Darren Young. Also, he got it Lucy at Heroes Hideout. That's yeah. where we got it, right? What made you want to get him? Because he has, like, a hair. He's, like, on the butt. He has, like, blue, and he has, like, a star. Yep, he's got some uh, yeah, got but... nice little deco on him right there. And yeah. part of the prime time player is Darren That's Young. That's the difference. It's not the same. Yeah. You can see, but they have the same skin. And they have the same tight. They have the same white. 
but they don't have the same color. They just have, they don't have the same color, but they only have the same hair, the same color, and the same white. Yep. All right. So, what are the other things that you like? His hair. Um, what else? Hey. What else you like about him? You can do this. Yeah. Very. Very. Um, then, uh, uh, yeah. Fully and, posable. And I. Uh, boom. And you can do. He wants to marry someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what? What is next? What do I have wait, next? Wait. What about if it goes me, you, and then me, me? If you want to show another yeah. one, that's totally I fine. Know. Go ahead. Yeah. What about if it goes like me, you, me, me? Like that. Two times. All right. So next up is Ray Mysterio. And where did you get him? Um, I got him from Walmart. Yeah. And my dad has the one, but he's different. Yeah, I'm going to be going over another uh, Rey Mysterio figure in another episode that I got from Makari, so stay tuned for that. What did you like about this one? Um, because it has, like, tattoos. It has, like, black and purplish and yellow. You like his mask? Yeah. Yeah. And I like how he has, like, it says Rey right here. I don't think he does not. <gasps> he does tell a date! Let me see. Uh, yeah, it says this was made in 2018. And so, this was... I don't believe this was part of a battle pack. It looks almost kind of like a reminiscent of a battle pack that he was in with uh, some old Joe. That's pretty cool. Do you got any other figures you want to show? Uh, wait, should you stop? It yep, I have to go. I have to show you, two more me, figures. Me, and then, and then you, you. All right. You want to just show another show of my figures? Uh, wait. All right. So the next one that I have, I actually picked up at Heroes Hideout. Again, cheap plug for them. Um, it is back from I forget. It doesn't say what series. The, the earlier uh, of these, the Superstar entrances, it was an exclusive to Walmart, as you can see. They didn't actually show what series they were, but it was from 2012. So you can see it says it's not showing off. And if you can look on the back, if you can back it up. So this is actually one of his very, very Dolph Ziggler. Um, very, one of his famous shirts that he actually, that, that shirt sold quite a bit of merch. I'm telling you right now. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him breathe. All right. So we got him out of the box there. Very articulate. Um, so... Very colorful, too. So he had, like, uh, kind of, like, silverish uh, tights, trunks, and with uh, some deco here with uh, his white signature boots. Um, I, I'm not really that jazzed about his head sculpt, you know? But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. It is a basic figure. It's not, like, an elite or anything like that. So it's not... It's not it's, not a bad figure. I'm not. I'm not downing on it. Um, but I don't know. Just just a nitpicking, you know. But I like it. It's a really cool figure. Uh, you know, I always like these posable on the on the ankles here. Pretty cool. Very articulate on the elbows as well. All right. So this is brand spanking new. So you gotta you gotta break it in a little bit. All right. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so the last one that we're going to show you today was actually part of the WrestleMania um, figures that they're showing out uh, for this this coming WrestleMania, which I don't know. Um, I don't know. If, I, obviously, we're going to address the um, the elephant in the room. Obviously, the Jaden is actually home today. It's actually a Monday, and a lot of people are suffering from the coronavirus, so they're you know having all the, all the kids stay home from school, but. Um, they're talking about possibly canceling WrestleMania, which is going to be kind of a drag. We really wish you could, we can go, right, huh? Yeah. But I'm going to be a WrestleMania guy when I grow up. He's going to be a WrestleMania guy when he grows up. And he said he wants to be a professional wrestler. I couldn't be happier. Um, so let's uh, talk about this figure. All right, so it's a battle pack uh, for the WrestleMania series. It's uh, Team Hell No. Uh, and you can see the actual chair from WrestleMania uh, 29, which was in MetLife Stadium. 
This was actually the first time that they came to MetLife Stadium. Last year's WrestleMania was the second time that they were there. So a lot of people kind of argue with me online. I'm like, no, they didn't go. That wasn't in MetLife Stadium. That was somewhere else. And I'm like, no, it was in MetLife Stadium. So we're going to let them breathe. All right. So now that I have them out here, so this is Team Hell No, Kane and Daniel Bryan. And it comes with the chair, which Jaden is holding up. So... Again, these are pretty much basic figures that you can see here. Uh, pretty cool. This is actually my first and only cane that I have so far. I think I'm, I, I'm think about pulling the trigger on possibly getting that uh, ringside exclusive, which is the uh, the cane, but uh, with has uh, Undertaker's face under the cane mask, so you're getting two figures in one kind of sorta. But this is pretty cool. The team held no. This was actually a pretty cool. Uh, tag team that they were doing back in the day and so what do you like about that chair do you like the chair it's like nice and plastic and you can fold it up yeah because look you can put it down j j yeah look just put yeah just yeah, yeah you can have him sit down on it yeah look yeah let me make him sit down let me use my well, my figures to show that they can sit down all right see so you can actually have him sit down on the chair or you can use it when in your fig fed if they want to get a little aggressive and uh, go outside the rules a little bit. So all in all, not a bet. I mean, the head sculpt is pretty cool for uh, Daniel Bryan. You can see on the back right there. And then Kane is the same. I actually like that head sculpt a lot. All right. Did you want to show anything else about your uh, WrestleMania, guys? No. No? All right. So stay tuned for the next episode of J&J Toy Giants Unboxing. I'm your host, J.D. My name is Jaden. Be sure to like and subscribe. Keep on cool. Bye.